Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts YouTube video. This is going to be a short one. I just have a couple of figures I want to show you guys that I picked up recently from the new Savage World line from Funko. And I got five horror figures I'm going to show you guys. I also got a title from Scream Factory that I pre-ordered a couple months ago. And in my opinion, this is a must watch for the Halloween season. It is a horror anthology film called Trick or Treat. This is the second time it has a Blu-ray release, however, and um, but this one does have some new special features. I like that commissioned artwork by artist Devin. I have one small gripe with this release, and I, I don't know if it's because maybe I'm spoiled by companies like Vinegar Syndrome and 88 Films, but Scream Factory always has kind of cheap and chintzy slipcovers, and this one may be the cheapest one yet. It's very, very thin. It's paper thin. It just feels cheaply made. It looks cool, but I can tell at some point it's going to get some damage from shelf wear. And uh, I think Scream Factory should step up their game a little bit, considering that they have a huge following and they charge a lot of money for their releases. I think they should make better slipcovers. That's all I'm saying. I, I wanted to put that out there. But there is the reversible cover i really like that there's a little sticker there on the bottom that came on the shrink wrap i just put it on the the case there it just says the modern day horror classic it includes new interviews and much more so just to kind of quickly go over the special features you get tales of folklore and fright including interviews with the writer director conceptual artist and storyboard artist you also get the new sounds of shock and superstition and more interviews there's commentary additional scenes uh, animated short commentary all kinds of good stuff stills galleries theatrical trailer so I'm pretty sure by now most of you have seen this film from 2007 but if you haven't seen it, it's definitely worth a buy. So i just kind of give you guys a quick look at the, the disc art. And then the reversible cover, I flipped it already, and the other side just looks like that commissioned art there. It also came with the poster, which was 18 inches by 24 inches. I've got that framed already. Put that right next to Black Christmas. A couple of uh, seasonal holiday films. And just to kind of quickly go over the Savage World horror figures. This first one is A Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger, five and a half inch figure. These are meant to look like the He-Man Masters of the Universe figures from the 1980s. And I, I'll admit it's a very gimmicky kind of a toy, just like their Funko Pops were. But I wanted to pick these up. There's only five of them. And that is Freddy Krueger. I'll save th that one for last. That's my favorite one. The next one is Michael Myers. And we have a leather face from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And they do have little accessories too. There's a little chainsaw you can put on his hand. And it looks like there's the mallet on the other side. The Michael Myers has a couple of uh, butcher knives. And the Freddy Krueger, of course, has his little glove. I also got the pinhead. Comes with the little box, that's awesome. And it also has a hook and a serrated knife. And my favorite is the Jason Voorhees. I think that one looks the best. Comes with an ax and a, it almost looks like a sword. Machete. You can see this one has a little more detail. It has like the, uh, the rib cage showing through his clothes. And got the mask. It looks really cool. I like these little figures. And of course, I'll keep them boxed. I always keep my figures boxed or packaged I guess these are called blister packs and I'll just kind of show a 
little recap here of the five figures. I'm not sure if they have plans of putting more out. I guess um, I wouldn't mind seeing a pumpkin head or uh, maybe a Chucky. That would be kind of cool. So comment down below. Let me know what you would release if you had a figure like this. W which uh, figure would you release? And let me know if you picked up the Trick or Treat Horror Anthology. So that was it. That was my short five and a half minute video. Hope you guys are well. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.